in Central Africa, stakeholders in Burundi's tourism sector have encouraged tourists to visit the landlocked nation as it has a lot to offer. Although associated with poverty, ethnic violence and a political crisis, experts believe investment in the tourism sector will change the image of the country. New Central's Omolola Ololadi tells us more. A landlocked country at the heart of Africa's Great Lakes region. Burundi offers its visitors a rich variety of attractions. Its legendary Lake Tanganyika, its splendid Burud lakes, its mountains and valleys, wild savannas and enigmatic forests. This is captivating Burundi, the heart of Africa, the land of sacred drums and their haven for authentic African cultures. Bujumbura, Burundi's largest and the former capital city, is not just an ideal destination for relaxation, but home to the country's finest hotels and biggest market. Basket weaving, sculpture, art and craft market, all in the heart of the city, Bujumbura showcases the country's many artistic talent. Tourists are often immersed in Burundi's exceptional ecosystem at the Kabira or Rubu National Park. Home to a variety of wildlife such as chimpanzees, hippopotamus, monkeys, astonishing waterfalls and the sources of Burundi's great rivers. Rangers in the country are however committed to developing the wildlife and ecosystem to avoid going into extinction. Despite the beautiful tourist attractions, the East African country's tourism sector remains underdeveloped making it a huge concern for Burundians who are set to change the image of the country. Recording a total of 300,000 tourists in 2017 while generating around 4 million US dollars and contributed 14% to the country's gross domestic product. Stakeholders believe the tourism sector can contribute more if properly harnessed. Moving around the beautiful country of Burundi, the scenery changes with every turn, from mountain to valley, to lush greenery and quaint village. This land of a thousand and one hills will not fail to impress you with its contrast. Omolola Ololade reporting for New Central.